Before you've talked about how Man City haven't always embraced the Champions League, the fans, that is, um, but you haven't lost here in, at home in the Champions League for five years. Do you think the fans have embraced this competition more and how important will they be tomorrow? Yeah, of course. Yeah, good morning to everyone. Uh, yeah, of course, embrace it. We are used to, to play this competition for the last years and arriving at the stages for the last year. So, uh, yeah, of course, embrace it. I'm pretty sure the club told me it sold out everything. So, we'll try to do a good game. Pep, you're just uh, four games away now from the treble and from sporting immortality. Do you, do you accept that this next month could define your legacy as a manager and your team's potential legacy as one of the greatest club teams in, in modern history? My legacy was is already... No, my, what my legacy? Our legacy is exceptional already. So <laughs> We have been here for many times already, so... I, we are not stupid to, to know how important is tomorrow's game. It's maybe one of the most important games since we are today here. Yeah. We cannot deny that. Uh, for the competition, for the rival, for the for many things, but I said to the players, so leave it like a, a huge opportunity, enjoy the moment. Uh, how fortunate we are, we are incredibly lucky to be here. Um, and it is in our hands, it depends on us, we don't have to do, uh, I would say something exceptional, it's just to do ourselves and win one game to reach the final. And we're going to give everything, we're going to do everything. I have an incredible feeling about the team, uh, and whatever happened, it just thank you so much to 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 them to bring me to bring me to bring us all of us city fans to be to be here again. Yeah. Pep, the um, was the game tonight obviously massive. Do you how do you view it from a, an emotional sense? Do you want your players to play with emotion, or and feed off the crowd, or do you want them to sort of ignore all of that? On the outside, the motion is there, and the motion will be high. It has to be high in in, in these games. But uh, this, just this, is going to beat a team like Real Madrid. We have to, we have a game plan. We have to execute it a little bit better than we did it in the first leg. So we have to adjust something. We have to do it, uh, you know, a little bit better to create more chances. Or be, you know, our strikers, our people up front, get balls, get more balls in easy, easy position, knowing that the transitions, the ball possession of them, the quality they have in all departments are really, really high, but could not be different. So we play against Real Madrid, semi-final Champions League. We expect the toughest opponents we can face right now in the last years, but that is a, this is a challenge. So we embrace it, we get it, and go for it. Hi, Pep. Hi. You always talk about how your team arrives at a particular stage of a season. So this game tomorrow evening, is it arriving a perfect moment for your team, the way it's playing? Players all in forward, I don't think anyone's injured. You know, is it sort of, could be any better perfect maybe for you? Yeah, we arrive, we arrive really, really good for the fact that uh, we are in the FA Cup final. We are one game away to win the Premier League in semi-final championship. But at the same time, we have to play much better than Madrid game. So at the end, you can arrive in a good moment. Uh, yeah, we're, yeah, it's perfect here, but we have to perform well. It's not just with the desire, the dream. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just I tell him, so relax. So all you have to do is what you have done many years, I would say, or especially this season. So this is what you have to do. So not just for the desire to reach the final or do, we're going to do it. I had the feeling I had to do better than, than, than Bernabeu to, to reach the final. Pep, you, you seem more comfortable talking about how the city ownership wants to win the Champions League. What do you think this change of tone says about you and the growth of the club? I said many times when I arrived here, I signed the contract seven years ago, didn't tell me how to win the Champions League. I said me with Chiki and all the people say try to, you know, to the reason why they bring me here with my staff to to do the best as possible. But of course, uh, we cannot deny. So we won all the titles except this one. And, uh, and we want it, of course we want it. It's another opportunity we had two seasons ago when we lost the final against Chelsea last season, against Madrid this season again, so, and we want it, of course we want it. We, with all desire and I think with being intelligent and smart enough to do what you have to do to, to, to win that game. And this is what we wanted to do. People say, yeah, we are close, you know, for this kind of title. I think we are far away. 
so come the most difficult games to play right now so but in the same time every time I, it happened last season when we played against Madrid or previous season against Chelsea it's a dream you know it's a dream come true it's a dream come true to be here so again so nobody guarantee in the future we'll be here nobody can assure us so we just once we are there let's go let's go the try with our people go for it for the first minute until the end uh, be together in the bad moments that will happen defend and suffer in the bad moments and with our people our people will play with trust more I'm pretty sure of that with our people we'll we'll do it Hi Pep just on the fans and the atmosphere do you feel like it is now tougher for opposition teams to come and get a result on nights like this just I know they will be close to us because they know what we have done this team for the last years and they, they will not leave us alone that's I'm pretty sure they will in the bad moments they will sustain they will be with us and the good moments and you have to put the force the, the pressure where to put the opponent is our game so we would love to play with our all the fans but we play 11 against 11 it's our game will dictate what you have to do to reach the final but of course in the bad moments if they are there and they will be there so we're busy Hi Pat <coughs> Up here. Um, Kevin De Bruyne was obviously on the bench at the weekend and didn't come on. Has he been training normally of late? Is he fully fit ahead yeah. of the game tomorrow? And similarly, have you got any other issues fitness-wise in the squad ahead of this game? Except Nathan, and the rest is everyone is fit. Thank you. Let's go. Paul Hi, Pat. Uh, you've spoken, I think, in the past, since you've been here, really, about City having to learn how to play in this competition and how to behave in the late stages, because it's not something they were used to as a club. Given that, and given Real Madrid's pedigree in this competition, who is favourite tomorrow night? I don't know. I'm not able to do it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, of course, we are in this competition because we are in less stages every season, so otherwise... But the little details. So I don't want to like for tomorrow, but I don't want to like it neither. So I just, the team who deserves to win, he has, hopefully he wins. So it doesn't matter which one, <laughs> hopefully we will be. I know how we have to perform well. That is a lot in my focus. I have to put in my mind, in the mind of the, in the mind, the heart of the players, they have to make a, an incredible performance to beat Real Madrid. Otherwise, it will be so difficult. Uh, I have an idea to do something differently that we have done in the and there is just for the fact that to be more fluid in attack but I think it's going to happen the natural way for the fact we play at home at home we have the feeling that we we feel wow free relief we, it doesn't matter what happens we go we go there and that is a feeling I have and, and I think hopefully tomorrow we can we can have that feeling it's only I'm concerned so be ourselves tomorrow it's only the rest I, I defeat. I placed ten semi-finals for the Champions League, and I lost eight. So I lost more than I won se seven. I lost more than I win. So I know that feeling. So we always I had the feeling that, you know, football. There are many things you cannot control, but at least to try to be ourselves. That is my my only wish for tomorrow for my players. Pep, you said a minute ago that you want to you need a better performance this week than the one last week in Madrid. What aspects of your game? No, the, 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 you will not, you will, hopefully you can see tomorrow. Right. I cannot tell you here, otherwise uh, Carlo will be... Uh, it's nothing special. Eh? So don't, don't think I'm going to do... I'm not overthinking tomorrow. Don't, 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 <laughs> don't worry, guys. So uh, n nothing differently that we have done uh, in, the, in the past. It's just, it just to our game be more fluid and, and play a little bit better, knowing that of course, the opponents always have the weapons. Hi, Pep. Um, you said earlier this season against Leipzig <coughs> that you didn't want it to be a, a transition game because it could be a toss of a coin. Yeah. Last season against Madrid here was 4-3. Is it the same for tomorrow that if it's a transition game that it gives Madrid more of a chance and is it important that you control the game? Well, how would we like to have the game that we had the last season here? I will say right now. I'm not for, for, say, for the way we played, but I think it's not going to happen. Listen, sometimes sometimes the game dictates uh, a little bit for itself, you know, transition or transition, the movements, uh, how you lose the balls in, in certain positions, how you fluid with the ball, how accuracy you have when you have the... 
the ball in certain moments, how you defend or how the impact for the unexpected things, how you react. This competition is a lot, a lot of this kind of uncertain things that you cannot control, not even a manager, of course, but the players itself. So, yeah. So we will see. We have a plan. We're going to try to execute it and, and try to adapt as much as possible what they do because, of course, maybe they do something different and you have to adapt. Hi, Pat. <coughs> do, you, do you remember in the first season you won the first six games and maybe we got carried away and you were telling us in the media you've still got a lot to learn and a lot to improve on. But did you ever expect at this stage, first of all, to still be here and for the team to be so consistent and so good year after year? Did you ever expect the team to get as far as they have done? No. After six games in the first season? No, no. First, I wanted to expect seven years sitting here. And no, no, I didn't expect. I have an incredible self-confidence in myself, but not enough. So, because this league is really, really tough and the Champions League always, you know, happened, but that's why I'm, I said many times how pleased I am to this consistency for many, many years that still is, is there. Last one in English, guys, and we'll go to Spanish today. Hi, Pep. Um, Carl Walker was just in here Hi, Pep. Um, saying that he felt that the players owe it to the owners to win the Champions League, given the commitment and all the investment that they've put in over the years, over the last decade mm. or 12 years. Is that a view that you share as well, that, that they're owed this tournament? They don't have to put much pressure about the owners or myself or uh, they have to do it for themselves and perform. They, I think the players, they don't know us uh, anything. Because they have done anything in the past. So Last season they did it in the previous one. So They have to just play a football game as best as they can. It's not necessary to tell them what does it mean to Real Madrid in this competition, how good they are, so they, they know it, they they felt it last season, they feel it this season, and just to, to, yeah, to live, we are blessed, you know, to be here, and that is what they have to feel. Hey guys, we're in Spanish. Hola Pep, aquí Jorge Picón para Relevo. Has hablado en varias ocasiones. You spoke about uh, a few times about the greatness of Real Madrid in this competition, uh, the king of the Champions League. I wanted to know if you could you explain why Madrid is so superior in this competition? Because apart from great players, is it they generally get through these knockout stages? What a great question! I don't know if I knew that. Uh, I'd know the method of beating them. <laughs> Yeah, I think basically yeah, well, well, I'd say the reason behind that they've always had great, great quality players that's the main reason without players of that standard uh, last year, this year you wouldn't be able to achieve that when Milan won with Saki or Capello we, we won with Barcelona we all had quality players top, top standard players Hi, hi Pep uh, Tomorrow's game I wanted to ask you about what do you fear most about Madrid? And amongst all their top players, is there one who you feel one that might hurt you the most? Real Madrid. Uh, same as last year. Whatever whatever competition you play them again in, whatever year, they always have a great squad, great players. Every side I've come against, come up against them, they always think about what they're going to do. Um, uh, it's not a case of uh, lacking respect about Real Madrid or any opponent. I think about what we're going to do. It's important to concentrate on your strengths. Uh, I mean, it's, it's important to concentrate on yourself, talk a lot about yourself and what your threats can be. Tomorrow we'll try and impose ourselves on the game tomorrow. We know very well what Madrid can do. Uh, it, it means... It, me, just that you know them doesn't mean that you can control them and keep a check on them, but we want to try and uh, minimise their threats, if you like. Uh, you've spoken about... Uh, right now, um, I wanted to know if... Your, your, your legacy, do you think... Do you think, you're, do you think it would be even better? Your, your, I think it would be better... My, my legacy will be uh, there's been a great generation of players that have been here five years we've scored we've scored lots of goals we've won lots of things we've conceded not so many goals my my legacy is maybe maybe we could have maybe we could have a book about it one day but I think you know 
you won't be judged on whether you win the Champions League or, or not. Um, maybe we'll be remembered, but we've had a great time. The, the, the legacy is that we've had a great time, played great football. Uh, and we had great times with Arteta here as well. And it's the best that you can have. The best legacy that you can have is that you've, you've performed well and played well. Uh, it's, after the post-match press conference, you said you had a bit of an idea on how you might approach the game differently. Uh, will it be more difficult to impose your strengths or try and attack their weaknesses? We've worked a lot. Um, we've had a few. We had a few days in Liverpool. Uh, we've, we've, we've not done anything different that you know we can do. Uh, people know us well here. Uh, nothing's going to change. We're going to approach the game in the same way. Uh, it wouldn't make any sense to change your tactics. Uh, you believe in yourself. You think about yourself. You think about the opponents as well, whether it's Madrid or anybody else in the semi-final, semi-finals. Uh, you try and. It's impossible to just pick out the defects of the opposition. Uh, we've trained, we've worked hard on one or two things. Uh, we're going to meet at half four, four o'clock tomorrow. We'll be ready for the game. We'll eat together, we'll, we'll fuel up, we'll get on the bus, which is a few minutes from here, and we'll, we'll, we'll go and play the game. We'll go in the dressing room and start the game. If you take, take away the Seville game, uh, this, this, this team always draws uh, away from home. So how can you? What do you need to do against Madrid? We have to be ourselves. Don't complicate things. Just be ourselves. Relax. Uh, we 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 won against Seville, but it wasn't a great performance, even though we won. It's a, it's a difficult competition. This, but we've not lost here either. We might have drawn a few. Uh, we won every game we got to the final here in, uh, in regulation manner. Uh, uh, we, we drew in Porto um, when we in a group stage and we lost the final. Uh, tomorrow at eight o'clock, you, you, you just got to be the best game. Uh, there doesn't exist any kind of other. You don't think about anything in the past. It's that moment you've got to be at your best. Don't worry about the past. Get up, dress well, <laughs> be on form, and perform the best you have. Go out onto the field, play well, and that's what we'll be trying. Um, you know, we've thought about it a lot, and we know what we're capable of doing.